Hello everybody, and we're back with Stardew Valley. It is another rainy day. Um, didn't do too much in the uh, standpoint of money yesterday, but... Oh, hey. 350 wood. Not bad. Another one? Uh, tomorrow is the Egg Festival. Yes, it is. Okay, so looks like we're gonna be doing an event today. Okay, so we can go ahead and deposit our 50 wood. We don't need to hold on to that right now. Um, since it's another rainy day, we can... Uh, go back down into the mines. Um, as well as do some other stuff. But I think we're gonna try to do some fishing today. Do a little bit something... A little something different. We're also gonna take some of our stuff here so we can go to see uh, Gunther. Let's see, is that all we have? I think that's all we have that we can give to him right now that I'm not keeping for other purposes. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Take some fishing, take some bug meat so we can make bait. Do we need anything else? Nah. Let's take this leak. We can give that to George. At least I know he likes that and we can get... We can uh, get ahead on that. So yeah, let's craft. Oh, I can't... I, do I really not have the bait crafting recipe yet? Okay. So looks like, uh, I... I kind of botched that. <laughs> I did miss this daffodil. We may as well pick that. Might as well. If it's not a gift, it's extra money. And a new leak. And a dandelion. My goodness. Okay. Ooh, boy. Okay. Not bad forging so far. We did get some of that uh, extraneous stuff out of the way before we got, came into the village because I don't know if it, really I don't know if anything's open yet. So yeah, may as well take a look out here, see what happens. George, you home? 8 a.m. All right. I will go fishing in the meanwhile. Just remember mm -hmm. fishing. Now, I I was really bad at the fishing the first time. Like, when I first started, I did not understand how to do it. Like, I'm still pretty bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we may as well level up our fishing. That's going to keep us a little bit more well-rounded. And um, hopefully... Oh, here we go. We got a fish. Oh my god, the bar is so small. That's what I get for using the bamboo pole. It's not my uh, big boy iridium rod. You're open now. Here, I'm gonna give you your, give you a leak. You can have this one. I want to sell the other one. Yeah. Right, yeah, you got a point. It is honest work. That's why this dude left and uh, left the city, working for Joja Mart to come here. So. And that's open. We can go talk to Clint and then uh, spend the rest of our day fishing. And Gunther's right here, so we can knock out a whole bunch of our stuff right away. 9 a.m.? Come on, man, really? Are you at uh, or at least, at least are you open? Yeah, you're open. Okay. Now this cutscene is supposed to be for you um, donating stuff to the museum, since I walked in with items that are donatable. Okay. Pretty good. I got a reward knocked off pretty much immediately. And got some extra money in the process. So let's uh, claim my reward, which is an ancient seed and an ancient seed blueprint. So ancient seeds, yes, they can grow, and um, I might want to put some of those on the farm because they actually transcend seasons. Yeah, you're talking about the stuff I just gave Gunther. Which almost reminds me, I forgot to go see Clint. He should be open now. Alright, here dude. Here's your copper ore. Alrighty. Free money and we got, we got to keep the ore. Nice. We're well on our way to being, being able to pay for a tool upgrade, which... 
Just for the sake of reminder, how much is that? Yeah, 2,000 for your first up. You know what? Oh, it's because I don't have the can with me. Alright, 2,000. So we have enough to do it now. We just need to smelt our bars, and with the amount of copper ore we have, we actually can do that right now. Now, I'd like to get a better fishing rod, so we're really going to have to fish up early. That or get the ability to buy crab pots. Driftwood. Get out of here, Driftwood. So this probably isn't going to be a very profitable day just because we're spending it fishing. But hopefully it gets us uh, on the way to leveling up our fishing stat. It also helps us knock out the fish tank in the community center, which is something I, I honestly, I don't think I actually completed. Oh no no, I did complete it. I just the one thing I didn't do in my first playthrough uh, by the end of the year was get a pomegranate. Ironically enough, so we're just gonna keep fishing and uh, get some of the river fish knocked out. It's all whatever we uh, we don't keep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I'm not getting that. What do we need for fish? River. Tiger trout. Okay, well we can turn into sunfish. One problem with this, not having bait, is it's kind of... Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this one Okay, don't, don't cast... Stop casting towards the land. Okay. As I was saying, like, the one problem with this is, like, we can't even make bait yet, so... We're kind of shoehorned into, um, fishing with this bamboo pole. I mean, which is okay, but you see how small, like, the little reticle is for catching your fish. Try and get this- oh, no, there goes my perfect. Okay. So we got some fish out of the river here. I'm gonna move down to the ocean and see if I can't, uh, catch some stuff down there and knock, knock some of those out of, off our checklist. Plus it gives us a chance to check out the, uh, shoreline here and see if we have any forgeables down here. We've got a trilobite. We can take the gunther. And I believe our fifth um, artifact is a checkpoint for us. So maybe I actually want go to go and take that back after I um, check this place out. So that's the dude you get the uh, mermaid pendant from. Once you get one of the uh, single people to max um, hearts you can go ahead and talk to that guy, and that's how you get into the uh, marriage section of the game, which... As I said, I'm not really focusing on for this min-max playthrough, but... If you really, really want to go full out... You probably want to think about that. Um, the only reason I'm not right now is because I'm prioritizing other things first. I'm also walking the wrong way in town. I'm an idiot. So, yeah, let's go ahead and... Move over back to the museum here and give Gunther this trilobite before I sell it. And I believe we do get a new um, reward item for this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what's our reward? Yeah, nine cauliflower seeds, so we got free seeds. Now, many of you in the comments down there did suggest that I do that, so thank you for reminding me. Um, I may have done it a little bit later than I probably could have, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, this is okay. This is okay. It's definitely something you could shoot for, because five artifacts is not... It's not difficult to get to. Um, if you're vigilant and you pay attention to the little worm patches, then... Uh, you can get... You can get that done relatively... Pretty, pretty quickly. Okay. Come on, fish. Fish, please. Fish? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Getting a little ahead of myself here. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fish. Ah. And then sardine. Okay, so leave. Oh, let's see what we got here. Nice slow one. I think it's another sardine, or it might be a red mullet. Come on, come on. Stay stay behind it. Stay behind it. It's extremely tricky with such a bat such a uh, low quality rod. That was just a sardine, man. Let's see, are sardines even in the fish tank? Uh, ocean fish? They are. Okay, so at least we're getting uh, something that's kind of useful. I think I'll fish till like 5 o'clock. Then we'll go back to the farm and do some clearing. I really want to start working towards that silo so we can... I really want to start working towards that silo so we can start stockpiling our uh, hay already so we can be ready when we have a to get some animals. Well, this is like super in advance planning ahead, but um, when winter comes around, animals and foraging are going to pretty much be your only uh, source of income. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa! What are you? Oh my god, I want my cork bobber and my iridium rod. Okay, stay behind it, stay behind it. We're gonna go down, predict, 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 good. An eel. Hey, not bad. Those are actually relatively difficult to catch. I'll take it. Come on. There we go. Hit. Let's go. Whoa, that's a fast one. Ugh, yeah, not even a chance. Come on, at least one more fish. One more fish. Okay, at least hit one more time. Get me, a, get me one more bite. Lily's done for the day. Come on, here we go. Up, oh, that's trash. Come on. I know I said five o'clock, but I want an actual fish. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Give me one more. Give me one more. Ah, nice rainy day. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh god. Oh, there's a treasure box. There's a treasure box. Treasure box. Fish, go up to go. Yeah, go closer to the box. Go, go closer to the box. No, you're going the wrong way. I want to get the box, but I can't... If I leave you alone, I'm just gonna... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh um, no, 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 no. Come on. Fish. Fish. Alright, I failed getting the box, but that's okay. Um, every once in a while, treasure boxes do pop up in the fishing bar. Usually there's, like, extra bait and stuff in there. I wouldn't say it's the most important thing to get, but it's a nice bonus. Okay, so let's head up to the community center and drop off whatever we uh, can into the fish tank. And uh, yeah, we can finish off on a day with that. Uh, probably want to plant to the cauliflower we just got though. Okay, so ocean fish. We got a sardine for you. I believe the eel is actually a specialty fit. No, it's not a special. Is it a night ocean? No, that was just an ocean. Lake night? Yeah, take that eel. I don't have to waste time buy uh, buying it. Uh, yeah, no smallmouth bass. Smallmouth bass? Bullhead. No. Okay, so... Yeah, that's all we can, that's all we can do for today. We'll take the rest and sell it. 
I think I'm also going to plant my ancient seed. I am going to have to make sure it's not in the way of our later seasonal crops. Because that thing does persist and stay there all season until winter, so... Uh, we might want to watch that. Okay, very nice. Now where do I want to put that ancient seed? That's a question. I think I'll go ahead and put it, put it off, on the, off to the side here. That way it doesn't get in the way. Only problem is, I don't think the Scarecrow's range goes that far. Uh, okay, well, I may, have, I may have just made a horrible mistake, but... Uh, what are you going to do, I guess? Okay, so we got nine cauliflower seeds. I'm just going to make a quick patch up here. Probably not the most efficient since it's far away from our water source. It's also why the game is asking us if we want to put a well in here, we can put it, get, get you closer to your water. Um, I think that's actually going to be a little more prevalent when uh, this game actually does release its multiplayer feature. And when that does happen, um, yeah, I'm probably going to want to keep a, keep track of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell our spoils for the day. Get rid of our trash too. No need. trash, get rid of the fish. Bug meat can stay until we uh, get our recipes. Okay, so let's uh, knock out for the day and see uh, what we got in store for tomorrow, which is our uh, egg hunt event. Egg festival. Sweet. Okay. Sleep it off. We didn't get anything for tra we, we, trash. Was dr the trash is worthless, of course. Probably could have kept it. Once we get the recycler, we can actually turn that into something useful. But yeah, I actually didn't know it was uh, zero sum. Where's my watering can? Give me my watering can. I got to water crops today, man. And then we have to go uh, search for eggs and beat Abigail. She is apparently the queen of the egg hunt. I, like, I lost her the first time I, I did that event. And I got her back the next year, and I, I'd already married her by that point, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, we definitely want to look into building that silo so we can start clearing some of this grass out for summer. Get some of this stuff out of the way. That potato patch is ready too. That was poo that was really badly timed. Cause during a festival, I actually can't buy. I'm actually unable to buy different uh, seeds. Okay, so we can let that patch sit. Uh, the scarecrow there should keep it um, from being eaten by crows. Uh, another thing that we do want to keep in mind is that the, uh... Oh, is it the egg festival that you get the, uh, strawberry seeds at? Yeah, it might be. Okay, so we're gonna spend all our money on strawberry seeds. Strawberries are actually the best, the best crop for, uh... uh parsnips are ready, too. Okay, so we're gonna leave those intact for now. We don't want to pick them up. Uh, besides the potatoes, we can take the potatoes. The reason I don't want to pick the parsnips yet is because those are f fertilizer plots, and I believe if we do, if we actually uh, take those, we're not able to, or we're not going to be able to refertilize them if the plots till over into the hard soil. So, we're gonna have to be careful with that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the town for the festival. Check up here real quick, see if there's any forgeables, which there are not. And yeah, there we go. Egg Festival started in town. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is the strawberry time. Alright, so we're gonna buy...
35. Yeah. Strawberries are the best crop for the uh, spring season. So we want to get that uh, as quickly as humanly possible. Now, I'm going to caveat that by saying we're not actually going to plant that until next spring. This is a future investment. Uh, the reason being that at this point in the, in the uh, spring season, um, I don't have a calendar. Um, we're actually not going to be able to get as much out of it as possible. Yeah, I really do want to get the most value as possible um, out of that as I can. Yeah, my aim is to beat you, uh, Abigail. I'm not gonna lose to you this time around in the uh, egg hunt. Hey, really? George? That's a good question. Eggs are, ver egg eggs are good. They're delicious. Uh, not yet. Let me make sure I talk to everybody first. Everybody. I think it is. Yeah, I talked to Gil already. Demetrius? Yeah. I think that's everybody. Unless the wizard's hanging around somewhere out here. He does hang out on the outside of and the outer edges of these festivals sometimes. I don't believe he is here for this one though. Harvey, what are you doing all the way over here? That's good enough. Let's start the festival. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Let's go. I'm gonna win. I want that reward. Yes. Go, go, go. Okay, grab that. Yoink. There's one down here, let's yoink that. Yoink this real quick. Come on, come on, running out of time, running out of time. Graveyard eggs. Two of them here. There's one in Lewis's yard. We gotta grab that. And I think this is enough to beat Abigail. Yeah, I believe nine's enough. Come on, go for ten, go for ten. Don't run out of time. Yeah, there we go, ten. Almost got 11. I got this. I got this in the bag, man. Yeah, boy. I got a straw hat. Awesome. Let's put that hat on. That would be my spoils of victory there. Awesome. Okay, let's throw away our seeds. More than any, more than the hat, that's like the important thing coming out of this festival. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. As I said, we're going to leave that there for now. We dumped everything we can into our storage, so... I'm going to water the dog dish because I forgot to do that, and... We're going to wrap it up for today. You might be thinking, why are you watering the dog dish? Um, for those of you who may not know, that's actually kind of important. The pet happiness is actually one of the completion uh, checkpoints for the end of the game, like, where you get the uh, Iridium statue, so... Hey, dog. Check the weather report for tomorrow. Any day.
So next time we join this uh, little farm here, we're going to be uh, probably mining to um, get some of those completion bonuses out of the way. So yeah, sleep it off for tonight. Level 3 farming, there we go. Okay, and with that, we got a thousand G's back. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, min-max your farm. Like this video, comment, let me know what I'm doing wrong. If you think I could be doing something better, go ahead and drop your suggestions down there. Just be sure to be constructive, and uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. So thank you very much, and until next time, see you later.